Hello everyone, Sean Mancini here, and today I'm showing you a alternative to TrueCrypt. Uh, if you really, if you watched one of my previous videos on TrueCrypt, it was uh, a pretty useful tool. Um, pretty much, you can encrypt certain volumes, encrypt a certain file to act like a volume, stuff like that. It was a really cool project. Uh, unfortunately, the maintainers of that project abandoned the project. Uh, so now, I'm showing you <clears throat> the new version or uh, or the alternative to uh, TrueCrypt, which is Veracrypt. Now, Veracrypt picks off, um, sorry, picks up where TrueCrypt left off, as you know, um, one of the reasons why TrueCrypt uh, uh, was abandoned was because of some security flaws uh, in it. So now Veracrypt developers use the open source code from TrueCrypt and fix those bugs and now are maintaining uh, the project. So now we essentially have TrueCrypt just under a different name. The product is available at veracrypt.codeplex.com and is completely free. It's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and um, of course, the source code is also available. <clears throat> I've installed it and have been using it for a bit now, and uh, it's just like TrueCrypt. As a matter of fact, if you are a TrueCrypt user, you won't notice any difference, uh, aside from a little bit of uh, a little bit of slowdown for for performance, and that's because of the that's because of the security fixes. Uh, during encryption, uh, they've dealt, they've almost quadrupled how many iterations uh, of um, certain algorithms and stuff like that, uh, which all the details are available here. So you just go on their web page and check it out. Um, to install it, it's pretty simple for Ubuntu. Uh, so I'll show you the Ubuntu way of installing it. So you just click on download, you go to Linux, Okay, you can download the file, which I've already downloaded and extracted. Um, so all you need to do is open up a terminal, go over to your downloads folder, oops, caps lock. Go over to your downloads folder, and then to the directory, and all you need to do is dot slash vera. Now you have two options, you have a GUI install or a console install. I like the GUI install because I don't like remembering a hundred different commands to do something simple. So GUI and then it's either x64 or x86. So I'm a 64 bit so x64. <clears throat> Once you hit enter you will see here that uh, you will see here you have just a couple simple options. All you do is click install Veracrypt and it goes ahead and installs. I have it installed so I'm not going to do that. So for Ubuntu users on Unity, all you gotta do is type in VER for Veracrypt. And you have the familiar TrueCrypt. Now TrueCrypt users, you'll know what I'm talking about right here. This looks exactly the same. So uh, we'll do we'll do a basic volume here just to test its functionality. So create volume. We're gonna create an encrypted file container standard, and uh, we'll just do select file here. Go to desktop and to super duper secure files, and click save. click next now you'll have the option to choose what algorithms you want okay for 90 percent of the people that just want basic encryption and stuff like that almost any of these will do you can definitely read up on all the types of encryption algorithms uh, on Wikipedia or you even click on more information on AES um, most of these encryptions are AES based anyways so <clears throat> I'm just gonna choose two fish for now and then you have your hash algorithm so uh, SHA 512 256 Whirlpool so uh, SHA 512 is uh, is pretty good okay we'll click next 
now you see what size you want. That's just for argument's sake, 10 megs. Okay, and then you'll adjust this to what you want. Okay, now you put in a secure long password. Hit next. Then you want fat. This is the part where um, you're generating your key. Okay, so uh, basically to generate your key, you move your mouse, you, know, you move the cursor around the window, and the more you do it, the better. Uh, you get more of a random key. Okay. Now, once you do that, you just click Format. And your volume is created. Okay. So now you click Exit. And now to mount the volume, you click a slot number. So say slot 3. Click Select File. super duper secure files and mount you enter your password and then on Ubuntu there's also a another security step you have to put in your pseudo password and boom you now have a fully encrypted file uh, that acts as a volume. So pretty much uh, in summary, this is exactly like TrueCrypt, but with all the updated security benefits and with, um, with, <clears throat> with some new enhancements. Uh, I hope this uh, video was, uh, inf I hope this video was helpful for everyone. If uh, you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about any one of my videos, please leave them in the comment section below. And of course, you can visit my website, seanmancini.com. Speak with you soon. Thank you.